Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, whatever the cards want to say. The last reading I did that I was getting that someone is very turned on by your confidence. Um, your spirit, your gentleness, like they're just really turned on by you. This is a pretty good energy. This is probably someone new that you've met or that you're about to meet. Or for some of you, this is um, an ex that wants to come back around. But for most of you, I get a very new energy. So if it, is a, if it is an ex coming back around, I would say they're a much different person than they used to be. But for the majority of you, I think this is actually just a new person and not an ex. Let's see what the cards have to say. But I have been getting the energy for this uh, group of Aquariuses that that this person has some kind of secret. It's not necessarily a dark secret. It's just something that they're trying to work on. I feel like this um, meeting was destined and I think it just happened kind of unexpectedly or if it's coming in, you know, within the next few weeks or so, I think it's, it's going to be kind of unexpected on both ends. So some of them are finalizing a divorce. Some of them are dealing with mental or physical health issues. Um, appearance issues like going to the gym, working out, you know, something like that. Like they're, they, they're basically just trying to get all their ducks in a row because they really want to be perfect for you. I think that they weren't expecting to want to get in a relationship so soon. They, they had other goals that they were trying to meet or maybe some karmic cycles they were trying to wrap up. So this kind of energy just, they, it kind of caught them off guard, but they're, they're, they're figuring it out though like they're not I don't sense them like wanting to let go of you or anything like that I just feel like some of them are kind of secretive because they have you know some stuff going on like karmic cycles and whatever else that they're wrapping up that they want to figure out um, and maybe they're they're afraid of, of sharing that with you they don't know how you're going to react so let's see what the current energy is though and that was the energy of like a few weeks or so ago so confusion uncertainty spying dreams visions telepathy some of them might be spying on you in your dreams. Like they might be like meditating or like looking in on you psychically, like channeling, like using ruins or some kind of like tarot cards, divination, something to like look in and see what's going on with you. I feel like there was some confusion and uncertainty about something. So now someone's spying, whether they're physically spying, like, um, like watching you like out in public or they're or, um, like on social media or like, you know, telepathically. It's like they're they're trying to they're trying to spy here. Got finances and career. What's that about? Make your move. Green light. Yeah, a lot of them are, are they are focusing on career, too, because like I said, they really want to be perfect for you. So some of them are getting their finances in order. X the past. Publicity, social media. Some of them might be worried that you. They might not know um, who an ex is that's on maybe you're friends with or maybe you have old pictures up on social media or maybe this is like a new connection and they're, they're just wanting to know if, you're, if there's anyone else in the picture. Like maybe you're telling them there's not, but maybe they're like a little bit, you know, scared that maybe there still is someone in the picture that they just don't know about. Like this person seems like they're, they seem like a good person, but they seem like they might have some trust issues because I'm going to get in the almost, yeah, like they might have some trust issues here. Like they might be trying to find out something here on social media, like spying and trying to figure out like, who the people in your pictures are or trying to figure out um, if there's anyone they need to worry about or just, just general, you know, looking in on you. <laughs> Pride, stubbornness. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. Is this toxic energy with the new person? Is this with the ex? Okay. So I think there might actually be two different stories here. For some of you, you might have an ex that's spying on you on social media or talking about you on social media publicly, you know, out of pride and stubbornness, and there's a toxic energy that you need to be warned about. For others, I think this is all the same person, like it's all the new person, but maybe they're just wanting to know about the ex. Like there might be like a toxic ex or something where there was like pride and stubbornness and they're just wanting to know, like, is that really over? Like maybe you've mentioned the ex or maybe... Maybe you mentioned the ex and they took it the wrong way, or maybe they're like there's pictures of you guys on social media or something, or they like you're you don't have your relationship status set to single, so they're just I don't know. It seems like they're like really like maybe they're starting to really fall for you and now like their fears are coming up is kind of the energy that I'm getting. 
because I got a much lighter energy. Not, not that this is necessarily a bad energy, but I mean, the energy I felt before was a lot lighter. I mean, it was intense in the sense that they were really trying to um, perfect themselves for you. Like, like I said, you know, this, this relationship or this connection kind of caught them off guard. Like, I don't think that they were planning on, you know, being like dating anyone anytime soon. And I think that the way you guys met or the way you're going to meet is going to be just really unexpected. Like you're, you're both single and then it's like, you just meet and you're like, wow, like just like that, like love at first sight type energy where you're like, both of you are kind of like, wait a minute, like you weren't expecting this, like love. And I think that's kind of how love, you know, love happens like that a lot. It's like when you're least expecting it, it's like you guys, you know, one or both of you is focusing on career, on, you know, going to the gym, self-empowerment, you know, your psychic path, whatever. And then it's like, boom, you just meet each other. Like the, the universe, the divine just kind of does that sometimes where they just throw these relationships at you that you're not, you know, like you're not even, not that you weren't looking for it, like you might've been, but it really feels like you weren't expecting it so soon. Or maybe it's them that wasn't expecting it so soon. Like it just kind of seems like it, this, this is, it came out of nowhere or it's about to come in out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, the energy I got, the energy I was getting a couple weeks ago is definitely lighter just because I was getting that, you know, they're really turned on by you. Like they're turned on by your confidence, your spirit, your sassiness, your gentleness, like you really stand out to them and they've, you know, I've been getting this consistent energy that they really want to start opening up to you more and more and sharing their secrets, being more vulnerable with you. Um, really just being turned on by you, just trying to be perfect for you. Uh, I feel like, but like I said, some of them have secrets, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's like a dark secret. It could just be like their finances are not in order completely. And they're kind of embarrassed about that. So they're not wanting to tell you, like, maybe you're trying to go out and do something that costs money. Like, like maybe you're saying, Hey, let's go to the casino or let's go to you know, let's go do this, let's go do that. And they're like, they're saying no. And you're kind of like, why are you blowing me off? And they're just saying like, oh, I have to work or I have to do this. But like, the truth is they're actually like broke right now. Like they don't have money and they're embarrassed about it. And they're not wanting to tell you that because they really want to be financially stable for you. So some of them are like focusing on finances and getting it together. Some of them are like ending a karmic cycle. And it could be a karmic cycle with finances that they're ending too, where they're about to come into more abundance. Um, but it could be like a karmic cycle, like wrapping up a divorce, like maybe they're separated from someone, but the divorce is not finalized. And they're afraid that if they tell you that, that you're not going to understand, you're not, you're going to take it the wrong way. You're not going to believe them when they tell you it's over with the ex. Um, or it could be like, like custody battles. It could be any number, or it could be even addictions, like mental, physical health, like wanting to get in better shape. Like, I just think that they have these like goals and these things, like these karmic cycles and things they were focusing on and wrapping up. Um, and then this relationship kind of caught them off guard and they're like, well, damn, I don't want to wait. Like I want to, you know, we you know what I mean. Like they want to date you, but it's like, they're trying to like rush and catch up and get ready for you. You know what I mean? Like if it's like money, it's like, they're desperately trying to like maybe find odd jobs or find like get that promotion at work or they do, do something because they want to be stable and they want to be good for you. They want to be like a King or queen of pentacles type energy for you. So they're really rushing to perfect themselves. So this is like, this isn't, I wouldn't say this is like a darker energy. I mean, it's a continuation of that story where they are, they are still perfecting themselves, but it seems like they're spying on you ma no, more than they were before. Like they're looking in on you now more. So I'm not sure if, um, something happened maybe like miscommunication or something took place that like, cause I'm getting that we got the X, the past publicity, social media, pride, stubbornness, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. Um, could be, they could have an ex that's looking in on them and they might be dealing with that drama right now. And it might be taking their attention away from you. Cause maybe they let the ex know like, Hey, I'm, you know, I'm talking to someone new. Um, so they might've like let the ex know that they're talking to someone. Sorry, I had to pause for a minute. They might've let the ex know that they're talking to someone new. And the ex might be kind of spying on you and kind of, you know, stalking you on social media now and causing issues for your person. Um, I feel like there's two. I feel like there's two different variations of this story, like two different groups that are that are here right now. So. So, yeah, one of them is the ex is causing drama. 
um, stalking someone on social media, spying, trying to figure it out, maybe trying to attack someone telepathically. So this could be a third party karmic situation. Um, just out of pride and stubbornness, they're not wanting to let the person this person go. And the other story is, and it could be both. It could be both stories too. You know, it could, it could be both. But the the second story that I'm getting here is, you know, the second way I could read these cards is that your person is starting to really fall for you more deeply. And like I was saying, the energy before was lighter just in the sense that they were really like, it was more like a flirty, happy, kind of sexy energy, like just really like setting you apart, just really kind of amazed by you, like turned on by you. Um, and now it seems like it's getting more deep for them. Like it's getting like maybe you guys had a serious conversation recently or something, but it's just it's getting more deep, more emotional, more real because I'm getting kind of like a distrust and like a fear here. So for some of you, this person is spying on you. So like I said, two different stories. For some of you, the karmic that this person is dealing with is spying on you. Um, and they're causing drama because they don't want to let, let this person go. And your person might have recently told them like, hey, I'm like, you know, I'm moving on and I want to, um, you know, want to date you. They want to date you. For others, I feel like your person is getting in more deep with you. And so the fear is starting to come up, you know, which makes sense. It's like if you're, I mean, not that they weren't serious about you before, but I just feel like they were in more like a fun energy. Like they were still kind of wrapping their head around the fact that it came, this relationship came in so quickly and so unexpectedly. And so now they're kind of stepping back and they're like really taking this more seriously. So some of them are spying on you and maybe like worried about an ex from the past or they're like watching your social media and they're making sure kind of like almost like a jealous possessive energy but I wouldn't say it's toxic at least not yet um but like some of them are kind of like keeping an eye on you like they want to know like they just they want to be more certain now I feel I feel like now that they're getting more serious about you and they're really working on themselves for you they're um they're they're you know, that fear is coming up now. Like they're like just wanting to make sure this is like the real deal, that this is going to be long-term, that this is going to be stable. So I think some of them are doing some digging on you just to make sure like you are who you say you are. There's no exes, nothing shady about your past that they need to know about. No exes popping up to cause drama or toxicity. Like they're just kind of like, like almost like a too good to be true energy where they're like really starting to fall for you. And they're like, okay, like they're kind of getting scared. Like maybe this is like it's getting very real for them. You know what I mean? It's like a, it's like an energy shift just happened where it's like it's leveling up and now they're kind of thinking like like wait, is this is this real? Like what's you know what I mean? Like what's going to happen next? Like like you know how it is. Like when you've been damaged and hurt a lot, it's like at first it's like the relationship's kind of fun and exciting and then it's like you get to that point where you're just kind of like, "Oh my god, like I'm falling in love." And you're like you're you're still happy, but you're also like like, wait, is this too good to be true? Like, is this is this real? Are they going to break my heart? Like, you start overanalyzing little things that they say, like, you know, almost like self-sabotaging. And almost like this person is, like, kind of getting scared and just making sure everything's good. That's only for some of you. For others, the your person's not doing that. And this is just saying there's an ex that's causing, you know, um, some drama that you might not know about. You know, like I said, for this group, like your person has a secret, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's like they're wrapping up a divorce or they're they've got money issues and they they want you to see them. They basically just want you to see them in the best light. So they're not telling you everything, but it doesn't feel like straight up like lies or anything. It doesn't feel like it's not like the energy of like cheating or abuse or anything negative like that. It's more like they don't have as much money as as they seem like they have and they are embarrassed by that. Or like they have a health issue or a mental health issue and like they're, they just don't want you to look at them in that light. Uh, I was getting the energy. Some of them might have confessed whatever this is to you though, because I was getting the energy in the last reading that this person was, was starting to feel more open and vulnerable with you and they were wanting to talk more openly with you about whatever the secret is. Um, I think that they were just kind of hinting at it though. Like I didn't get the sense that they wanted to tell you everything just yet, but maybe they wanted to kind of start you know, hinting at things like if it's financial issues, maybe saying like not letting you know quite how bad it is, but maybe saying, oh, I'm in between jobs right now or something like something light, you know, with not without going too much into detail in it, if that makes sense. Um, show me more about also if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into this, just, you know, send me an email 
My email address is right below this video in the description box. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Uh, you can just, again, right below the video, you can just copy and paste it. I do in-depth video readings for $50 for 30 plus minutes. And please subscribe if it resonates. Any, any donations are appreciated too, even just a dollar. It adds up quickly. My donation links are also below. I'm going to pull some more cards and see what else we can get here. So I'm going to do just two different clarifier spreads really quick. Okay, so for those of you that are dealing with an ex-karmic that's causing drama and maybe stalking you on social media and trying to dig up some dirt on you or trying to figure out what's going on, trying to hold on to this person out of stubbornness, someone's spying, whether it's your person or the karmic, someone's spying. But so, Okay, so for those in that energy group where it's the ex-karmic causing drama, um, it could even be your ex-karmic causing drama instead of their ex-karmic causing drama, but for those in that energy group, let's see what else do we need to know about this right now. Listening and understanding, new perspective, fast-moving energy, chaos, love, offer, commitment, mutual feelings, emotional depth. So your person is getting out of this. Like there might be some low-key drama behind the scenes, but they're coming into this new perspective. So I think that part of the new perspective is the karmic might be trying to drag them into drama again. And maybe they used to fight with each other and they used to, your person used to get dragged into that really easily. But I feel like you're helping your person grow a lot. Like you've changed them. You're helping them. This is like a soulmate connection. So I think, or, or a twin flame connection possibly. Um, so I think there's like rapid soul growth that's taken place or is going to take place in this connection where you guys are going to have this like kind of adventurous, you know, open kind of free spirited fun relationship. Like I see you guys possibly like traveling together, teaching each other new things. It's like your differences complement each other. You know what I mean? Like you guys are going to teach each other a lot. So I feel like you're, you're helping this person become more mature. You're helping them grow. You're helping them be the kind of person that like listens and understands you're helping them have empathy and be the best version of themselves. And that also with that also comes, you know, giving them this backbone to stand up to the karmic drama. So the karmic's probably trying to rope them into drama and your person is like not, I mean, they're dealing with it, I think, but they're not getting as roped into it as they would before. They're kind of just trying to like this. They they know they can see they're they're strong enough to see the see above that now, and it could be that they don't have to be alone because they have you now. So they don't have to. Maybe before they got sucked into that easily because it was like familiar and they didn't want to want to be alone. But now it's like when the karmic texts them, they like they just ignore it or they or they maybe respond but they're short with them because they see through the drama. They see what they're trying to do. Like they're. They're not in denial about the karmic connection anymore. They're they're accepting it's toxic. They they know it's toxic and they're, you know, staying loyal to you, it looks like here. From what I'm getting, if this is your story, that is. Um, so it seems like, yeah, like you've you've helped them grow, you help them have this new perspective, and and with that comes the ability to be strong and confident and say no to drama with the karmic and not get sucked back into that, you know, and it seems like they're coming towards you quickly with some kind of love offer, some kind of desire to take this relationship to the ne next level. No, it's good energy, mutual feelings, emotional depth. There's lots of good energy here. Um, anything else? Yeah, the karmic's trying to manipulate them, but your spirit guides and their spirit guides are fighting the karmic off. Yeah, the karmic's really trying to manifest a reconciliation, but your spirit guides are like blocking it. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to whisper in their ear and blindfold them and your spirit gu your spirit guides or theirs or both are just like, no, nah, this is a karmic cycle that's been completed. You're not in like, no, nah. they're, you might have some kitty spirit guides protecting you as well. Yeah. They're like, they're isolating the karmic. They're not, they're not, I mean, the karmic is, is annoying your person. I'm getting, if this, if that's your energy group, then I'm getting that the karmic is annoying this person right now. Like they are messaging them. They are irritating them, but I don't think they're really getting in. I don't feel like, I don't feel the emotion. I just feel like your person kind of feels annoyed. Like they're like driving and then they get a text from the karmic or the karmic's like trying to find ways to weasel around it and manipulate them. And your person's just kind of like, no, I'm good. Like, they're just kind of, like, just irritated at this point. But I'm not getting romantic feelings for the karmic. If they do have romantic feelings, it's very... I don't think there's any, to be honest. If they do, it's, like, very... It's The karmic's killing whatever feelings they did have. By trying to control them and hold on to them and compete with other people, the karmic is, is killing off any 
chance of them having a friendship in the future, pretty much. Um, okay, so for those in the other energy group where there is no karmic, there is no third party, your person is just, you know, it's just you and them, but your person is spying because they're getting more afraid. They're um, wanting to make sure there's no karmics or no exes on you on your end. They're maybe confused about like if they see like a picture of someone on your profile or your profile says, you know, like it doesn't say anything like they're just kind of wanting to, to they're they're thinking about taking the next step and they're kind of just wanting to be safe and like make sure they're not going to get their heart broken now that things are getting so much more deep and more real. What else do we need to know about that story really quick? Hesitation, mixed feelings, past life connection. It's a past life connection, possibly soul contracts with you two, at least a soulmate, possibly a twin flame. Um, could be that you hesitated in a past life. And that could be causing fear. You guys might have a past life history. Maybe in the past life you rejected them. Um, and so it's like, that could be why if they were like super excited to like see you when, when you guys first met, that could be part of it too, is like they, they're happy that they have this chance with you now. Um, and they're wanting to be loyal, stable, you know, make promises to you. Mental instability, submissiveness, we, uh, submissive weak will. Yeah, I sense that as like being submissive just to like fears and securities, but I do feel them working through it, but they are in kind of like a dist... I don't know why, but they seem like they're in like a distrusting kind of fearful energy. Some of them, some of them, if the karmic has something on you, the karmic could be lying to them about you, but the, but they're not entertaining the karmic, like they're blocking them out, but the karmic could be texting them something that's like upsetting them. I don't know what it would be though. Like that'd be personal for each one of you. But I mean, I can go, I can do like an in-depth reading to try to, you know, if you guys don't know, but I don't, I mean, it's a different, I mean, there's variations of the story. So it's, it's, I can't tell for sure what exactly they texted. You know what I mean? Um, what else? New love, faded encounter. Yeah. I feel like they're, they're ultimately choosing you though. Yeah. This is a potential life partner. It looks like, so it's really good energy here. True love, potential life partner, new love, fated encounter. There was something very destined about the way you guys met each other. Like it really like unexpected, just destiny, like your spirit guides brought you guys together. But yeah, they are feeling afraid right now. I don't know if they're expressing it, but there is like fear that maybe if they tell you the secret, you're going to reject them. Or maybe like they're just trying to rush to get things in order, um, especially like with financial issues or like they're be worried that you feel like like maybe you feel like they're rejecting you when really they're just ashamed that they don't have the money to to go out with you right now so they're like they want to see you and they want to talk to you they might be confusing you like they might be like messaging you and talking to you and like being really flirty but like when you ask to hang out they're like oh I have to work and it's like well I think that for a lot of you I think that's probably because they're having the financial issues and they don't want you to to know about it they don't they don't want to get rejected so there there's like a fear of getting hurt there there's a fear that they're going to get their heart broken here but it, it does seem like I mean they do seem attached to you if you know what this fear is and you can resolve it like maybe do that like if it is if you know that it's financial issues and you've been saying like maybe you thought they had more money than you did and then, then they did so you've been saying like well let's go to the casino let's go to a concert let's go to a bar let's go to a club maybe you could say like hey do you want to just um like go, i'm gonna go hang out in the park for a bit do you want to come you know hang out with me or some something that would be free that they wouldn't have to pay for anything you know what i mean or like you could say like oh i bought all this extra food um and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to cook it in time i was thinking you know what if would you want to come over and help me cook? Or like we could, we could go have a picnic, something that's free. You know what I mean? It's like try to resolve it, but like in a subtle way, because it feels like, like you don't want to just call them out. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to just say, Hey, you're having financial issues. Cause they're, they're probably really embarrassed if that is the case. So there's kind of ways around that to see if that's what it is, where you can just, you know, if that's your story, you can just ask if they, if they want to do something that doesn't cost any money. I think they are really rushing to figure out the finances though. I think that they, I think it's just like a temporary setback. Like they're, they're trying to find a new job right now or trying to get a promotion or something like they, I don't, I don't think this person is like lazy or anything like that. I think that they've just, maybe, they, maybe they had some like bills that they had to pay. And for some of them, for those that were married, I was getting that maybe they're not divorced. They might tell you that they're divorced, but they might not be, um, just because they might feel like if they told you that, that you might think that they were still entertaining the karmic, but maybe it's that they can't afford a divorce. 
And they could be like if they have kids or something, they might be, you know, putting all their money towards a custody battle or towards, you know, the divorce, like hiring a lawyer. Maybe the karmic is making it really difficult for them to get the divorce. That could be something like that. Um, and that's taking all their money and, and maybe like, I don't know, because I just don't get the, I don't feel like your person's lazy. I just feel like there's some reason they're they're having financial issues. If that is the if that is the secret that they have is the financial issues. Um, anyway, I hope this all made sense to you guys. And if it resonates, you know, please subscribe. Any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. All my donation links are below and my email address is right below this video if you want a private reading. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.